Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another anime movie review. I just recently watched Kite Liberator, and um, this is years after the events that transpired in Kite. Sawa's whereabouts are a mystery. During this time, uh, rumors of a new killer have begun to circulate through the city. They call her the Angel of Death, an unfeeling assassin who eliminates her targets with grace and precision, leaving only a flurry of feathers behind as her calling card. What the public is unaware of is the fact that this notorious hitman is actually a polite young lady named Monica. Like her spiritual predecessor, Monica has lost most of her family and her father's duty as an astronaut keeps them practically worlds apart. However, they are close despite the physical distances and Haruto promised his daughter that he would return. Until then, daily life for the timid and somewhat clumsy Monica involves mostly school and her part-time job as a waitress, but her nature completely changes once she receives a, an assignment. Uh, I I like the original much better than this one, honestly. Um, it had kind of the uh, it had more of a sci-fi element in this, which I I do love sci-fi. Don't get me wrong, but it kind of left it up in the air, which you know I didn't really care that much for. And um, it led you to believe that at the end it was kind of tragic in a way. What happens to her father? I'm not going to say what that is because it's uh, one of those things that you kind of scratch your head and you wonder if it's scientifically possible. I don't know if it is or not, but um, as far as anime films are concerned, I prefer the first Kite over this one, even though I, I think it's a worthy successor. However, the ending left much to be desired, and um, it just really didn't satisfy me or thrill me like the first one did. The first the first kite was I think the ultimate masterpiece. It's it's super gory and the plot line is really incredible and it's very engaging. And this one is too. It this uh, talks about the duality of uh, Monica's character and I like that and <laughs> how unlikely of a uh, cold-hearted assassin she is that I've always liked the stories of assassins Oh shoot, hold that thought. snowing quite a bit actually. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Sorry for the interruption. That was my dad. He's actually coming home from hospital. Yay! been too long and it's been too quiet and it's been too boring and just rather lonesome without him here. Um, anyways, as I was saying, Kai Liberator is a worthy successor to the original, but I, I rather prefer the original over this one. But uh, as a fan of Kite itself and the whole storyline and the idea of uh, an assassin, 
It's always been something that has interested me. I actually wrote a story about a, a gentleman assassin, so it's within the same line. And uh, it's just uh, really quite uh, intriguing, the, the psychology behind the, the character, uh, Monica's character. And um, just the, the unassuming <laughs> woman that she is, and it, it just gives you pause and makes you think. Uh, make, makes you think maybe you should be more careful with the unassuming women in your life. <laughs> um, it's it's a good film. I'll, I'll I'll give it that. It's it's not the greatest film uh, or anime film I've ever seen. Uh, Plot line's really good. Uh, the sci-fi element I, I enjoyed, even though I thought it was sort of unbelievable at times. I'm not sure how much of it is scientifically based. It's kind of like with the, some of the events in the movie Gravity, even though I know a lot of those uh, happenstances were probably not scientifically based. I still love that movie because it was basically a live version of Planets. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, uh, I can't really say too terribly much about Kite Liberator. Eh, I'll give it a thumb up. I, I think it deserves a thumbs up, actually. It's it's um, pretty solid as an action adventure sci-fi, and more. It has kind of a horror element that uh, is akin to Alien, I think. Even though I've never seen the Alien movies, I know what they're about, and I'm too much of a chicken to watch them, but I, I know the basis of the plot and that it's uh, classic horror, fair, sci-fi-esque, um, similar to that. It, it really is. And as far as a rating goes, I would say about 3.5 out of 4, four or 5 stars. It's, it's good. It, it has a great um, story and plot line. And, uh, Monica's character, like I said, she fascinates me. And, uh, she's just uh, take no prisoners when she's on assignment. She just becomes a cold, heartless, uh, cruel, inhumane killer. And versus her, the other side of her, which is uh, the unassuming, gentle, um, clumsy, even young woman and you just never would have you never would have even expected this to come out of such a, a first of all she's not very tall and um you think how can a how can such a tiny girl pack such a huge punch and then you think of uh the the girl with the dragon tattoo if, if you've ever seen that and uh, Elizabeth Salinger, she's basically the same type of character, and I, l I really love those films, by the way, they were really good, um, they were extremely well done, uh, it, it just kind of has that same kind of vibe, I think, but uh, as far as movies are concerned, I would think that the, the Dragon Tattoo ones are far better than uh, this this particular one. Um, I really don't have that much else to say other than um, mm, I enjoyed the film and uh, if you like the first kite watch the first first one of course before you watch this one and it'll make more sense but um, it's a uh, it's it's an okay film it, it's it's good it's, it's not grand but uh, the action adventure, uh, the gunfights, I think, are probably one of the most exciting things about it, other than the, the, the scenes that occur in space, because I'm, I'm a huge fan of all things space travel related. And I'm, I'm a NASA geek. I've always been a NASA geek, and I always will be a NASA geek. That will never end. Uh, there's just one part of me that uh, I, I've always been that way ever since I was a little girl I wanted to be an astronaut so it, it's just sort of that whole idea that that romance and and then the uncertain actually it mixes the idea of um, how we romanticize 
uh, space and space travel. And uh, then they have the whole unknown factor of what if this happened and then a horrible incident occurs and then um, I won't say what that is, but it's just, <laughs> it's all about that um, what if scenario, I think, and what would occur if this happened and how the crew would react, what would happen to the crew, and um, just Murphy's Law taking effect and everything uh, going in a downward spiral very quickly. I mean, it, the escalation is just so rapid you cannot peel your eyes from the screen. It's that quick. You have to be on your toes the whole time. Um, I, I have to say that I, I like the first kite so much better than this one, but despite that I'm going to keep it in my library because I feel it's still a, a good film and worth a watch. <laughs>